Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to be going through some of this year's heart stopping Valentine's Day handbag releases and we are going to rank all of them. It is so bad, I want to give you a zero, but that's not possible. So I give you a one. From contemporary brands such as Coach and Kate Spade, up to the high-end luxury brands such as Chanel and Louis Vuitton. But before we hop into today's Valentine's Day handbag ranking video, if you guys love handbags, fashion, hauls, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you. Enjoy today's video and it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. Before we get into the bags, the tier list goes as follows. A tier, marry it. I'm, I'm gonna marry the bag. I wanna marry it. I want every color in that bag, that bag. I wanna wife that bag. B tier, I'm gonna date it. You know, take it for a test run. See how it treats me, you know. And C tier, rejection that dreaded feeling that nobody on earth likes i have never ever been happier first up on the ranking chopping block we have the very beloved and sought after coach heart cross body bag for those of you who do not know this bag went massively viral on tiktok and sold out within less 24 hours online yeah it it was a hit not for me personally but i can definitely see why it went so massively viral it's a very cute bag and i find that coach outlet is definitely pushing the quality envelope for outlet stores um, Kate Spade and Michael Kors, take notes. <laughs> but I'm gonna throw the heart crossbody bag from Coach into B tier. Only because I feel like it's very girly. It's got color block on it. It's got the red. It's got the pink. It's cute. But again, I'll date it. See how it works out. And you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. After the viral heart bag, we have also another Coach piece. The Willow Bucket Bag in Signature Canvas with Heart Print. Now, the Coach Heart Print does come in a few different bag styles. So the Studio Bag and the Kit Messenger Bag. But I definitely just love, love the Heart Print Canvas. So anything with Heart Print Canvas is getting A tier. I want to marry it. I want to marry it. It's cute. It's different. It's stunning. It definitely looks like it's something that wouldn't age bad either. So uh, it's not going to age like milk, if you will. Like for me personally, I feel like the heart crossbody bag might age more like milk in a couple of years towards where the heart canvas the heart signature canvas print might not. I feel like that's going to have more longevity. So that for me is A tier. Next up, we have Kate Spade. First of three Kate Spade bags, we have the Love Shack Heart Purse. I'm going to throw this in the C tier. It is almost a one for one, almost, not necessarily to the coach uh, heart cross body. Now I do know Kate Spade came out with this first, but I don't really like the color. I find the color makes this a complete like, you just don't really, it's like a really light, light, light pink. It's pink chalk, it says. I, I just don't like it that much. I don't 
think the color really complements the bag very well. Now they do have other reiterations, different colors. I do believe there was one with like black and then red polka dots or something but like again I'm not too big into Kate Spade and the general style they go for so it it'll be a C tier for me. But surprisingly Kate Spade did come out with the Heart 3D coin purse and I'm throwing that into A tier. I want to marry that. I want to marry it. Now hold up hold up I know I know I like something from Kate Spade. What a shock. But if you look at this, this is actually kind of cute. Uh, it's different. Now, you're probably like, it's a heart. It's a heart. What's so different about it? It's puffy. It's got like a puff to it. It's not the flat hearts that we're going to be seeing a lot of today. It's actually got, it's like an actual like little puffy heart coin purse. And I think that is just so cute. It also is like a bag charm, like ch Ma'am, that's cute. That is really cute. So that for me is a tier. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. And lastly for Kate Spade, we have the Buddy Hearts Medium Shoulder Bag. I'm gonna throw this one into B tier. I'm gonna date it. Give it that test run. Uh, it's cute. I really like how the hearts are all just like studs. I think that's kind of different. It's not very like, um, it's not super girly. It's girly, obviously. And I, I'm not a huge Kate Spade person, but this is definitely a cute bag for Kate Spade. And next up, we do have the Fossil Heart Bag Crossbody. A little switch up on the words there from the coach one but this one is a little different now it's still b tier it's still b tier so i'm gonna date it i'm gonna date it that's it but it's cute it is definitely cute a little bit more on child's play territory i definitely think it's different and it brings something to the table that the other other heart crossbody bags just don't this one's a little different. Now with contemporary brands done, yeah, not too many contemporary brands really uh, participated in the whole heart trend. But moving on to the high-end luxury brands, let's start up with Balenciaga Valentine's Day 22 Hourglass Bag. There is also other handbags in this collection that have the same heart print pattern but Balenciaga really this is I don't like this uh this is definitely C tier for me rejection straight up rejection you will never get a chance with this never that bag is just when I first looked at it it caught my attention but the more I looked at it I was like I don't like it. I don't like it almost at all. I don't like the print. I think the print actually looks kind of cheap, if I'm going to be honest. It looks very, very uh, elementary school design, like when you're a child trying to draw a heart and it failed a hundred times. Like that's kind of like what it's giving. Next up, we are moving on to the Louis Vuitton Game On Cure. No idea if I said that right. I'm probably going to not get roasted. It's whatever. I don't care. Um, at first, I kind of liked this. But once I started seeing other brands and what they were doing with their heart bags, I was kind of like looking at this and I'm like, Louis Vuitton could have done more. Louis Vuitton could have done more with this bag. And I'm going to stand by that statement. Obviously, the bag is a heart. But if you look at the corner of the bag, like a white LV motif with a red heart on top. What Coach did with their heart signature canvas, I feel like they could have done something semi-similar with this. But I feel like this is a missed opportunity. This is lacking. So C tier for me. Rejection. No, bitch. After those couple of uh, rejected messes, we are going to move on to the cult 
I'm, I'm calling it a cult classic because it's going to be, bookmark this, the Chanel heart purse, the quilted heart bag. I don't even know what it's called. Like trying to find any information on this bag is like pulling teeth almost. But I, I, I'm going to say this is a B tier. I'll date it. Only because I do like quilted books, but I, at least they try to do something a little different. They try to do a little something different. I know it's like the heart bag, whatever, whatever, but at least there's like some like little front pouch and at least it's quilted. So it is a little different. So I am going to throw it into B tier, but I don't know why y'all give Chanel so much attention. Y'all give Chanel too much attention. I'm just going to say it. Next up for high-end luxury brands, we are looking at Yves Saint Laurent. First up from YSL, we have the YSL Riva Large Bucket Bag in Vintage Leather and Heart-Shaped Studs. A tier. A tier. I want to marry this bag. I want to marry this. This is one of the most unique bags I've almost ever seen. I was like, okay, I don't know how old it is, but I thought it would be fun to throw into the list. Do you see how large this bag is? Look at the model carrying it. It literally looks like the model could live inside this bag. This bag is massive, but it's also very intriguing. And next up for YSL, we have the monogram card case in hearts and dots print leather. They have uh, an, a double, like a billfold wallet as well. I'm going to say this is also A tier. I do. I, it's sickening. It is absolutely sickening. Now, again, notice how the hearts are kind of like that child drawn heart, but... What makes this one a little different for me is that it's not as bad. It's very, it's still a little like, it's still a little on the childish-ish side, but I like it. I like the polka dots as well. I think it just all complements the card K or whatever they're doing with it. It just looks really nice. I think it looks sickening. A tier, I want to marry it. After those beautiful Yves Saint Laurent pieces, we are going to turn our attention to the Prada O'Day Heart Bag. Now this one, I, I want to put this one A tier, but I just, if it had just a little bit more to it, I would. I definitely think this is the better of the three. Not just because it's Prada, but I just feel like there's a different... A slightly different edge to it. I don't know. I just feel like there's something different about it and uh, I can appreciate it a bit more but it's still B tier. I'm gonna just date it. I'm gonna date it. It's it's nothing heart throbbing but you know I'll date it. I'll test run it. <laughs> that sounds bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> But closing off the video, we are going to be looking at Gucci. Gucci has two different types of Valentine's Day small heart bags. The first one is definitely a C tier. Rejection. Straight up rejection. I hate this. I hate it. Oh my god. Looking at it, I'm like, really y'all? Really? Save it for the drafts. Honestly, save it for the drafts. It's it's trash, mama. I don't like it. It's really bad. But for the final bag, also the final Gucci bag, it is probably the most interesting and debatably my favorite on today's list. It is the second version of the Valentine's Day small heart bag. I like how it's three-dimensional, not just like, you know, flat, but like, you know, it's got all the points, the edges, and it just looks sickening. It looks sickening. It is A tier. I want to marry it. I want to marry it. Let's put a ring on it and get it over with, sister, because this, it, it is just gorgeous. It is gorgeous. This bag is a very a geometrical, and I just live for it fully. It is different. It is unique. It's it's got, it's hitting all the marks for me, honestly. Like, it's a, it's a cool purse. This one's cool. This is my favorite. 
out of anything on the list, which is surprising. I usually hate Gucci, but I like this bag. Now that we are done looking at all of those beautiful heart bags, some hits, some misses, what was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below and I'm gonna show y'all a sickening outfit of the day. And 99, don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred people, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and ninety nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's special Valentine's Day video and that little sneak peek bag. Uh, that was a cute little last minute Valentine's Day bag find. It'll be featured in a future video. Don't worry. Don't worry. But y'all get a sneak peek. Y'all get a sneak peek. It's cute. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please subscribe if you are new. Like the video, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's video. As well, check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over.